Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're going to go ahead and jump into SPAD.next and start looking at how we can change up the transponder control of the SciTech or Logitech radio panel. There was a request about how do I make the inner and outer knobs work more like the standard plugin where one controls one of the digits, the other controls the other, and you only flop between two of the digits. So let's go ahead, jump into spad.next, and run through it. Inside of spad.next, don't forget the video guides are right in the user interface. You have all kinds of subsections. Uh, and this is where this one is going to make its debut, is the features and functions. So we've done something similar before with conditional events, uh, but we did this for doing acceleration. And it may have caused an issue for some trying to uh, take this and make it their own. So we're going to go ahead, hop on over to panels. We're going to go to our radio panel. And I'm going to do it on the first transponder just for the sake of operation. Now, when we normally look at it, this is kind of what you'll see. This is the standard mode where the button is going to change what the digit is controlling and then the knob is going to allow you to switch that individual digit. Now, apparently using the standard Logitech driver, someone else liked the idea how it worked, which is pressing the button toggles between the outer controlling the leftmost digit with the inner controlling the second digit from the left. And when you press the button to toggle, it actually switches and causes the outer to control the third digit and the inner to control the fourth digit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play with it now. So the first thing we want to do is change what the single press button does. So with the short press, we're going to go ahead and change this from moving the digit marker. So this is one of those built-in SPAD special events. So we could delete it and add a new event, or we'll end up deleting this out of here. So we want to add an action, and we're going to want to set up a local variable. So to do this, if you already had it set up, well, you'd come in and you'd go to your local variables, uh, but we're going to make a new variable. So give the name of the new local variable. Well, let's call this transponder digits flag. Sure, why not? It will be a number. The default value will be zero. Uh, this only needs to be one decimal place. So we're going to create that guy. So now we want to increment this. And we're going to increment by a value of one. Then we are going to set limits of zero and one. And we're going to set the rollover, which means this is going to allow it to toggle 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 all day long. And we'll get rid of that first action. So now that we have our transponder flag working, now we're going to want to set these four events, but now with conditions. So we're going to, for the inner knob, when turned clockwise, we're going to add the condition. We're going to grab our variable. And when it equals 0, we're now going to change what it is that we're controlling. So now what we want to do is we want to increment transponder 1 digit th 2. Uh, yes, 2, the one that's currently 46. So we want to increment that by one. It should be zero through eight. And I am curious, so I'm going to set the limits. I'm going to set eight. And I'm going to allow rollover because technically you can roll around on most transponders. So we'll go ahead and we'll allow that. Uh, we can end processing with this so that it stops checking other conditions. So I'm going to click yes. Now, for the inner counterclockwise, Again, we're going to come in. We're going to add our local uh, variable. We're going to go to our session. And we are going to find, sorry, it's in this profile. We've left it in the profile, not in the session. So this profile, 
transponder flag when it equals zero, just like before. And again, now we're going to decrement the transponder digit number two by one. We're going to go zero and eight. We're going to allow roll over the other way. Going to end processing. Now for the outer knob or the big knob, we're going to take this. We're going to add a condition. Same thing. We are going to our profile. When it equals one, though, oh wait, no, still on the zeros, still on the zeros. But now we want the fourth or the first digit, the one that's currently a four. We're gonna increment by one, roll over zero to eight, boom, done. Wait, they don't go to eight. They go to sevens, zero through seven. Don't. Never mind. You saw nothing. It's eight total octal. Never mind. You saw nothing. We will quickly come back to the other ones. Quickly fix those. So we're going to add our condition again. Flag of zero. And then we are going to say decrement this by one, zero to seven. We've got the first two digits. We are going to flip and copy all this. So let's just go here and go copy all events. And we're going to paste, but we're not going to replace so that it adds them all in. Now, I tend to come here and I delete these duplicate copies of it. Because now we're going to come into all these and we're going to make them ones. So there we go. So one set of clockwise and counterclockwise when the flag is set to zero and another set when it's set to one. So now we're going to come in and the digit marker will be changed in this case from two to four. So the two becomes a four. And the one becomes the third digit. So now we can see we're going to do those so that there is a separate set depending on where we've got the digit marker. And let's just put a quick little pause in there. And then add action, advance, transponder digit marker on the radio panel. So if we press this, that is going to move the digit marker like so. So at least it gives us a kind of visualization. One thing you're going to see right away, nothing is changing yet. So we're playing with those digits, and we've broken out those as individual digits. But now we've got to jump back in, and we need to amalgamate those using an expression. So to do that, we come over to the add-ons, come to expressions, and now what we want to do is we want to add an expression, and we'll call this uh, new, new transponder value. So we're going to take digit one, 
And we want to multiply this by a thousand. And then we're going to add to that digit two times 100. And then we're going to add to that digit three times 10. plus digit four. Validate, there we go, we've got our 1600 that it's currently set for. Now that we've got our new expression, and by the way, an expression is a mathematical equation that generates for you a new local variable. So this new transponder value. Now that we've built that, and we understand why, we can come back to our radio panel and now in every single one of these, we want to add an action. We're going to add a pause. And we can shorten this as low as we like. Change data value. And we're going to change transponder code 1. And we are going to set it to a value of our new local expression. Uh, which we've added to this profile for transponder value. So there you have it. Everything is working and functioning as we would expect. That will toggle, allow the outer to be the big, inner to be the next. Toggle it, we've got the three, we write most digit. So there you go. The quickest way to go about changing your transponder to make it work like it did with the Logitech software. Well, guys, it looks like I need to get my Cessna 172 off the ground as I'm holding up a CRJ from Jazz. And it looks like I might even have a bigger plane uh, that is turning around because it is so upset that I am in the way. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and come along with us next time. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.